हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज माधुरी योर केमिस्ट्री मेंटर आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल अनलॉक केमिस्ट्री विद माधुरी सो स्टूडेंट्स हैज द बोर्ड एग्जाम्स आर ऑन देयर वे वी आर हार्डली लेफ्ट विद वन एंड हाफ मंथ फॉर आर प्रिपरेशन सो इट्स हाई टाइम दैट वी सॉल्व ऑल द टेक्स्टुअल क्वेश्चन रिमेंबर दीज बोर्ड एग्जाम्स आर स्ट्रिक्टली एन सी बेस्ड सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू बी थरो विद द एन सी टेक्स्ट बुक देन ओनली वी हैव टू गो टू द अदर एक्स्ट्रा books so are uh, keeping in view i have taken some selected topics and i have tried to discuss the questions given in the textbook example questions in text questions and exercise questions all the questions will be covered so if you follow these series strictly it will definitely help you to boost your preparation now coming to the first chapter that i have taken is halo alkenes and halo arenes in that the topic that i have taken is iupac nomenclature and writing the structures of the organic compounds so this video will be divided into two parts and uh, today is the part 1 video now see the first question it is the example 10.1 from the ncert textbook what is the question draw the structures of eight isomers mostly structural isomers that have the molecular formula c5h11br c5h11br is the molecular formula and then you have to name each isomer according to the iupac system and classify them as primary secondary and tertiary isomers see students this question covers three important concepts first one is structural isomers what is meant by structural isomers compounds having the same molecular formula but different structural formula are called structural isomers and uh, you have to know, have an idea about the iupac nomenclature that we will discuss as we write the structures and then you have to have an idea about primary secondary and tertiary isomers primary means the carbon atom is at one carbon atom is attached to only a uh, one other carbon atom secondary means one carbon atom is attached to two other carbon atoms tertiary means one carbon atom is attached to three other carbon atoms what is the valency of carbon the valency of carbon is four so each carbon should have four bonds in that if one carbon atom is attached to another it is primary if it is attached to two carbon atoms it is secondary and if it is attached to three carbon atoms it is tertiary okay now let us go into the question the molecular formula given to us is c5 h11 br so we have to write eight structural isomers for this formula the first one is how many carbon atoms are given to us five so let us draw the first five carbons 3 4 5 okay next one br we'll start from this side one br and each carbon should have four bonds okay now if you see each carbon is attached to four bonds so the remaining all will be h okay now we will write it in the short form first carbon is attached to three hydrogens ch3 next carbon is attached to two hydrogens ch2 next carbon third one is attached to two hydrogens ch2 fourth carbon is attached to two hydrogens ch2 fifth carbon is attached to two hydrogens and one br okay now name of this compound the com carbon atom which is attached to the halogen should have the least number so we will start naming it from here 2 3 4 5 okay now first you have to write the name of the halogen okay so at which place it is attached to the first carbon so this one this compound's name will be 1 bromo One bromo. How many carbon atoms are there? Five. So, if a compound has five carbon atoms, you will write pent. Pent means five, and all the bonds are single bonds, no? So, n pentane. Okay. For single bonds, you will use the term 
in so the name of this compound is 1 bromopentane and here one carbon is attached to only one other carbon atom so it is a primary compound okay did you understand now let us write another structure now instead of writing bromine to the first carbon let us replace this hydrogen with bromine then our formula will be ch3 ch2 ch2 chbr and ch3 now what is the position of bromine it is attached to the second carbon so 2 bromo pentane 2 bromo pentane now see this carbon is attached to two other carbon atoms so it is a secondary compound okay now we will replace the hydrogen attached to third carbon with bromine then our structure will be formula will be ch3 ch2 chbr third carbon is attached to bromine chbr ch2 CH three. Now position of bromine is third. So three bromo. Five carbon atoms are there. Pent and all are single bonds. So in. Now see this carbon is also attached to two other carbons. So it is also a secondary compound. Okay. Now now we will take two substitutions. One is methyl substitution and another one is bromine substitution. So let us attach a carbon atom here ch3 ch2 ch br ch2 br okay 1 2 sorry 1 2 3 4 okay what i have told the carbon atom attached to the halogen should have the least number so this carbon atom should be given number 1 okay this is number 2 this is number 3 to the third carbon we have attached a methyl group and this is the fourth carbon so total number of carbons are 5 so it has satisfied the given formula now let us see its iupac nomenclature so first you have to write the substituents okay now to the first carbon atom bromine is attached so 1 bromo next to the third carbon atom methyl group is attached 3 methyl now how many carbon atoms are there in a chain 4 so you have to write but and all are single bonds so in okay did you understand 1 bromo 3 methyl but in okay now see this carbon is it is attached to only one other carbon atom so it is a primary compound okay now what we will do is we will change the position of bromine from first carbon atom to the second carbon atom let us see what we are going to get so this will be the fifth structure so c ch3 ch ch3 CH Br CH three. Okay. Remember, students, if there are two substituents, the halogen should get the least number. So one, two, three, four. That is why we are starting from this side. If we start from this side, this carbon atom will get the number three, which is the higher number for bromine. So that is why we are starting the numbering of the compounds from the right hand side. Okay, now write the name of the compound. Bromine is attached to the second carbon atom, so two bromo. And methyl group is attached to the third carbon atom, three methyl. How many carbon atoms are there in a chain? Four. So but, and all are single bonds. So in. Now see, this carbon atom is attached to two other carbon atoms, so this is a secondary compound. Okay, now let us write the sixth structure. Now what we will do is, to the same carbon atom, we will attach both the methyl groups and the bromine groups. Okay, this will be the compound. 
okay now this should get the least number isn't it so now we will write the numbering from this side 1 2 3 4 if you start numbering the compound from right side what will happen here number 3 comes which is a higher number so this halogen should get the least number so we will start name uh, numbering the compound from left hand side so 1 2 3 4 now see what will be the name of the compound first you have to write the halogen halogen is attached to the second carbon atom so 2 bromo 2 bromo methyl group is also attached to the second carbon so 2 methyl there are four carbon atoms in a chain so but all are single bonds so in now see this carbon atom is attached to one two three other carbon atoms so this will be a tertiary compound okay now coming to the seventh structure now what we will do is we will change the substitution position of the methyl group what can we can write is ch3 ch2 ch ch3 ch2 br okay see students this is just the trial and error method you have to try it several times then only you will get it okay now methyl group uh, halogen group should get the least number so start numbering the compound from here one two three four what will be the name of this compound first you have to write name of the halogen so halogen atom is attached to the first carbon atom one bromo Okay, methyl group is attached to the second carbon, 2 methyl and there are 4 carbon atoms in a chain, but all are single bonds in, butane and see this carbon is attached to only one other carbon atom, so it is a primary compound. Now coming to the last structure, what we can write is CH3, C. 2 methyl group substituents we will take CH3, CH2, Br. Okay. Now what will be the name of this compound? The halogen carbon should get the least number. 1, 2, 3. Okay. So halogen atom is attached to the first carbon. So 1 bromo. To the second carbon 2 methyl groups are attached. So 2, 2. 2 methyl groups no so di di means 2 di methyl di methyl how many carbon atoms are there in a chain 3 so you have to write prop all are single bonds so in 1 bromo 2 2 di methyl propane and this carbon atom is attached to only one other carbon atom so it is a primary compound ok did you all understand the question? Now let us take the next question. Coming to the next question that is example 10.2. Write the IUPAC names of the following. So we are given the structures of the compound. You have to write the name. Now in the previous example we have seen there were two substituents. One was the halogen group and another one was the methyl group. Then how did we number the compound? We started numbering the compound in such a way that the halogen got the least number. Now these are the examples of a compound where we have a methyl substituent, a halogen substituent plus a double bond. Remember student whenever there is a double bond, the double bond should get the least number. So for if you take this compound into consideration, if you start numbering the compound from here, then what will happen? 1, 2, 3. 3 third number will come to the double bond so you should not number the compound from here you should number the compound from here if you number the compound from here then what will happen 1 2 second number will come to the double bond so this is the least number so 1 2 3 4 5 okay now while writing the name it is the same first you have to write the halogen group Okay, now when there is a, to which carbon atom is the halogen group attached? To the fourth carbon atom. So, 4 bromo. Next, we have the double bond. Okay, now how many carbon atoms are there? 5. So, pent. 
next it is a double bond compound so in previously we had single bonded compound for single bond we wrote in now this is double bond we have to write in okay in at which position is it starting to so pent to in did you understand four bromo pent to in now let us see the next example now here for this also you will start numbering the compound from here 1 2 3 4 okay you have to select the number in such a way that the maximum number of carbon atoms are covered if you number the compound as 1 2 and 3 then you are getting only 3 carbon atoms so you should not number them like that if you number them in this way you are getting 4 carbon atoms so maximum number of carbon atoms should be covered now let us name the compound first you have to write the halogen group halogen group is attached to the third carbon atom so 3 bromo now here see at the second position there is a methyl group so next you have to write this 2 methyl how many carbon atoms are there 4 so but double bond is starting at second carbon uh, sorry first carbon atom but because you are writing it like this so this only you have to take into consideration if you were naming from here then you would have taken this into consideration but you are numbering the compound from here so the answer will be 2 and double bond so E 3 bromo 2 methyl but 2 E ok understood let us take one more example see now see this how will you name it? Number it. You will number it from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Instead of coming down, if you go up, you will get only 4 carbon atoms. That is why you had to come down. Now see, at the 4th position, there is a bromine substituent. At the 3rd position, there is a methyl substituent. And double bond is starting at 2nd position. So, 2 E. Okay. 4 bromo. 3 methyl. There are 5 carbon atoms. So, pent. Pent. 2 E. Okay. Now, see this one. Now, halogen atom should get the least number. No. So, you will start numbering it from here. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, now write the name of the compound. Bromine is attached to the first carbon atom. So, 1 bromo. Methyl group is attached to the second carbon atom. 2 methyl. And how many carbon atoms are there in the skeleton? 4. So, but. And double bond is starting at second carbon atom. 2 in. Because it is a double bond, you have to write in. Okay. Now coming to the next example. How will you number the compound? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. If you number the compound like this, then what will be the name of the compound? Halogen atom is attached to the first carbon atom. So 1 bromo, 1 bromo, but. 4 carbon atoms are in a strono. So but. Double bond is starting at second carbon atom. 2 E. 1 bromo but 2 in. Ok. Now next one. The last one. How will you name the compound? 1, 2, 3. Write the name of the compound. 3 bromo. 2 methyl. Propene. Ok. Did you all understand how to write the nomenclature? If you did not understand, just uh, go back once and see the video again. Definitely you will understand. Now the homework is in the in textbook, in text 10.1 question is there. You try to solve it yourself in the next video. I will give you the answers. But before giving the answers, just try it once. If you have any doubts, you can comment it. I will definitely respond to your comments. And then if you get a doubt, that means you are trying to understand. No worries. Okay. 
so if you like the video please do like share and subscribe to the channel and solve the question 10.1 in text question okay in text question the model is the same till now whatever we have discussed same model question is there that is why it is the homework for you try to solve it once you start getting the answers now you will enjoy it so i want you to enjoy chemistry okay thank you and have a happy learning Thank you.